Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where today we get to properly meet Yoko, our newest recruit, because of course she joined right at the end of the previous part, so we didn't really get a decent chance to go and say hello. So, hello Yoko, how are you doing? Tell us a bit about yourself. So your full name is Yoko Dakuchi, and everything there looks pretty good, full health, quite happy, you've had food, you're quite rested, and you are quite relaxed, which is all very good. You're best at crafting and healing, that's okay, that's a good combination. In terms of health, you're absolutely fine. In terms of happiness, your only issue is that it's a bit dark. That'll go away in the morning. That's all going to be fine. The sun will sort that out for us, so let's not worry about that. In terms of what you're actually wearing, you've got no weapons or anything. You haven't got a hat. Hang on, hang on. We can sort that out right now. Go and get yourself a hat. That's very important. Uh, T-shirt, that's fine. Trousers... Okay, they're not very good trousers. They're not summer trousers. Have we got any of those? Yay, summer pants. There we go. You've got a jacket on. Oh, but it's a spaceship jacket. It's one of the fancy spaceship ones that are from the future, which give you a heat tolerance increase of four degrees C. So that's quite good. You can keep that on. And then in terms of shoes, sneakers, have we got summer shoes? Yes, we have. Okay, there we go. So you can go and equip all the right things. Now, here we go. In terms of skills, what do you like and what don't you like? So combat is zero, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. However, you're willing to learn combat. It's not that you don't like combat, you're just not very good. However, you don't like construction and you're not very good at it. So okay, you're not going to do that ever really, I don't think. Cooking is three, that's okay. Crafting is four and you're interested. So I think if they're interested, that's going to go up quicker. So okay, you're going to be our chief crafting person. Farming is indifferent. You've got one point, but you're indifferent. That's a bit of a shame because we could do with somebody helping net out on all the farming stuff, but never mind. Healing is four. That's pretty good. Got some good healers going on. Intellect two, physical zero. Okie doke. So yeah, you're okay, but really you're going to be doing lots of crafting and maybe some cooking, which is a good thing. Okie doke. Profiles a female, age 68. Crafting teacher. Occasionally improves the crafting skill of others. That's quite good. Okay, so like, is it, who's got the other one? Is it Nova? Is it Ember? Yeah, Ember's got Combat Instructor, so she can get other people's combat skill up. Yoko can do the same for crafting. That's good, I'm happy with that. And then, yeah, that's a little bit weird. We saw that Bloodlust. Gains happiness when killing or observing death. Little bit bizarre. Favourites, though, playing darts. Brilliant. We have ourselves a dartboard. And maybe you can show everybody else how to use it properly because everybody else stands very close to dartboard and effectively leans over and pops the darts in where they'd like. I think they might be cheating. So Yoko, you can show them how it's done. And then in terms of her background, she is, or she was, a femme fatale. Okay, known in her youth as Magnolia, Yoko was a highly sought after escort who captivated the hearts and wallets of her clients. A calculating and merciless woman, she used her money and reputation to create an underground business dealing in poisons and assassinations. Okay, this is a surprise. That's a surprise from somebody who just likes a bit of crafting. She's crafting poisons, obviously. Good grief. Poisons and assassinations. Her operations were eventually discovered, but Yoko proved to be hard to catch. So effectively, she's a fugitive. She's a kind of a potentially mass murdering femme fatale who is on the run from the law oh my goodness me right uh okay there's that's a surprise that's a surprise okay no um in terms of the stuff she's um she's not allowed to eat uh yeah don't eat the raw meat don't eat the raw grain uh, yeah people did point out by the way in the comments that you can break this down further you can break this down into all the things that you found so far i didn't realize that I thought it was just a generic kind of meat and vegetables thing, but no, it kind of breaks down even further, look. So I think that's okay. I'm a bit shocked that she used to basically get people murdered to death. Okay, right. Don't mess with Yoko then. Okay, no, right. So you can go over there and you can go and equip your stuff. So get time ticking on. You go and equip a lovely hat. Uh, they come in hat boxes, by the way, because yeah, we, we've got a bit of class around here. We've got some style going on. So pop the hat on your head. It's not how you put a hat on, but okay, we'll let it slide. Right, there you go. Oh, crikey. Okay, there was a moment there we weren't wearing any trousers. Okay, that's fine. Then you get your shoes on, and then we've got the old rubbishy shoes. So I think if we go to here, can we take those sneakers apart? We don't need those. Take those, oh no, summer shoes are good. Take those trousers apart, and we just get cloth from that, and that's absolutely fine. That's all useful. But now, I think over here, hang on, we want to get six straw hats, six lots of summer shoes six pants and six t-shirts 
because we have six survivors and they're going to need replacement clothes for when the existing ones run out. So I think that's what we do for that. So yeah, we're gonna make some hats, then some summer shoes, pants and t-shirts, okie doke. That's all good. What else is everybody up to? I think it's gonna break time, isn't it? So let's run time on and we'll try and get this sorted. We are gonna try and get some wardrobe set up. There are some, what's well, the wardrobe there? There is one wardrobe, okay. How do we tell them what to store in there? Um, okay, don't store weapons or tools. Don't store those in there. These are all just for clothing. These are all just clothing things because they're in your bedrooms. I don't really know why you'd want to store a load of other, you know, in a wardrobe, in a sort of a wardrobe-y thing, that's where clothes go. So yeah, store clothes in there, that's absolutely fine. So there we go, wonderful. So they can put things over there when it's done. But right now, everybody's gonna go to bed, that's all fine. Sp hang on, spacious bedroom, plus 18. Okay, this is brilliant, this is brilliant news. Who's over here? Oh, Yoko is over there dismantling stuff because of course she wasn't that tired. And now she's going to go and make a, oh, hang on, we haven't done her things. Hang on a second, right, wait there. Um, so uh, we're gonna have relax there, there, there and there, sleep there, and then relax there for you, which is fine. So I can get up at six o'clock, have a bite to eat or whatever. Although a few people have put, just do anything at that point. We might do that because they can relax until that point if they choose to, if they're feeling stressed out, they can relax, at, you know, if they wake up at four, they can relax until six, that's fine. So I think, yeah, we'll leave that if there's work to do and they're fully relaxed, they can get on with the work. So that's a little bit of a tweak to the schedule there. So you go and do that and then over here, activities. Right, so we'll put heal as two. So we want Vanessa doing the healing first, but everyone else can be two. Handling, um, hang on, yeah, so who's... Uh, we'll put that as, yeah, you've got one. We'll put that as, uh, which one is, oh, no, hang on. Talas does that. Talas is on that. Constructing, let's put you as a five on that because you have completely no interest in that whatsoever. Hunting, you can stay as a three. Harvesting, you're indifferent to farming, which is a bit of a shame. You can stay on three. Cutting, you can stay on three. Ranch, you can stay on three. In fact, you know what? You have got one point in it. You're indifferent to it, but you do have a point in it. Uh, planting, again, we'll leave it on that. Scavenging is physical skill. You've got zero. So we'll put you onto a four for that. Mining can be a four. Cooking though, that can be a one. You and Net can go and do some cooking because that'd be good. Crafting, that can be a one. You are our chief crafter. You and Annette can do crafting, but you can be the chief crafter. Um, tailoring, yep, you can have a one. That's what you can do assembling is what's that uh, oh that's making the electronic stuff absolutely yeah one absolutely observing we'll leave it as three research leave it as three deliver leave it as three that's fine talas has got two because he likes doing that so yeah okay there we go that's a little bit better so hopefully she's going to go to sleep is she going to come in and go to bed no she's going to make a wardrobe okay I mean, yeah, Nova sleep has now been disturbed because you're building a wardrobe in the bedroom where she is, which is a bit of a nuisance, Yoko, if we're being honest. Although I think now she's making some food. Has she just got some pies on the go? I think she might have got some pies on the go. Oh, somebody's got a cold. Oh, good, I'm not the only person who's got a cold because, of course, I have got a cold. You can hear it in my voice. I do apologise for the state of my voice right now. It's all kind of croaky and snotty and I have to keep stopping to cough and sneeze and stuff. So it's a bit of a nuisance, but there we go. Yoko also has a bit of a cold, trying to sneeze in other people's faces. I mean, that's just generally good advice. That's just good advice for every day for everybody. So um, yeah, okay, so she does have a little bit of a cold. What does that do? Common cold, consciousness minus five, movement minus five, manipulation minus five. Okay, and also speaking minus five in my case. But okay, she's got a bit of a cold. I mean, I think that'll just, that'll just go away in time, unless it gets worse. But here we go, Yoko is cooking some pies. She's doing the pies. She's making the buttermelon pies. Vanessa's got up nice and early. She's doing some research. What are we researching? Solar panels. Oh, they're really quick as well. They're really quick to make, uh, to research. Sorry, that's really good. I'm flying through those, look. She's gonna get that done before breakfast. This is completely brilliant. Okay, solar panels are done. And now wind turbines are underway. Oh, this is magnificent. Okay, okay. Um, new weapon. Railgun Sniper. What? Where have we picked that? Hang on. 
Are we, we're doing something over here, aren't we? Oh, Talas has found a new weapon. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay. Okay, so who would like that then? So in terms of combat, six, six, three, three. Yeah, zero. So don't give it to those. Um, Maybe. What if we give it to... Let's give that to Nova. So give the snipery thing to Nova. So you have... Oh, it's not back at the thing yet. Hang on a minute. Right. Uh, bring it back. You bring that back. So Talas is going to put that over here. It can go into storage. And then we can work out what to do with it. Um, oh, also... Last time I realised what happened to the crossbow that we had last time. So we spent a while manufacturing a crossbow and they went, hooray, a crossbow has been completed. And then it kind of vanished. I don't know what happened to it. But when I was editing the previous video, I saw what happened. I was over here looking at this and you can right click to get rid of things. You can dismantle things and time was ticking on and I right clicked to dismantle. Maybe it was like get rid of some old food or something. But the instant before I right clicked, so my finger must have been pushing the button down, they put the crossbow in there, and I right clicked on dismantle the crossbow, because it appeared in the space where the mouldy food was. It kind of shifted it over a bit, so I right clicked on the crossbow to dismantle it, rather than getting rid of some mouldy food. Which was a little bit of a nuisance, I will be honest, but there we go, never mind. Right, I think the weapon is there then, is it? So I think, hang on, we've got some rejigging of things to do, so Vanessa... In terms of your weapon, uh, hang on, go to the right bit. You've got a short bow. You go and pick up a crossbow. That's going to be good. So you go and have that, please. Uh, so you've equipped the crossbow. And then Yoko, I know you don't... I mean, you're not very good at combat, but you're okay with doing combat. You're willing to learn. You're not kind of indifferent to it. So I think you, for now, pick up the... Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, you pick up the short bow. That's going to be good. Nova... I think then has the railgun sniper. That seems quite a good idea. So you go and do all that. And then Talas, hang on, here we go. Right, I've got no research underway. That's fine for now. This is okay. So Talas, you can then have the laser pistol, which is good. And then we've got another crossbow. So I think, hang on, here we go. This is what we do. So Yoko, you now have the crossbow and then a net. You, oh hang on a minute, you can have, uh, you can now have the short bow. Okay, there we go. And quite a few people in the comments have pointed out that we do need to make them some sort of melee stabby weapons. Because they do have a kind of, a default little kind of knife type thing. But apparently it's a bit rubbish, who'd have thought it? So possibly we should craft some sort of stabby thing. I mean spears. Spears is what we can do right now. So why don't we make... Uh, I'm going to need one. Uh, hang on, you can... Are you getting a weapon? I think we tried to get a weapon, didn't we? So, okay, so we need one, uh, two, three, four spears. Okay, so somebody over here. Can we please make uh, four spears? Craft four of those, please. There we go. That's going to be good. So make that work. And uh, yeah, it's not going to take too long. I don't imagine that being very complicated at all. So okie doke. Run over and get that done. Um, also, something else that a lot of people have pointed out to us is that um, that we need some defences. We have to get defences in. A few people express their surprise that we haven't been brutally murdered to death yet by day 39. Because I was like, oh, you're supposed to get defence in by day 5 or whatever. And here we are not having done that. So I think... Let's at least get a wall along here. We've got to begin somewhere. And I think out the back here looks pretty good. I see our base kind of being along like that. And then the main sort of building is going to be that way. So along like that. And then along here. And then over here, I see us having our little sort of trap corridor type thing. Or possibly over that side, but it's a bit near the main building. So sort of over here. We have to get rid of all that grass stuff. That's okay. That will go away. So it can be over here. So a little kind of trap corridor kind of, you know, path where we lead the baddies down, that's going to be over there. That's what I think we do. Although, so far, all the creatures have come from there. They've come from that direction. So should we have our kind of trap corridor thing over here, maybe? But uh, I'm not quite sure. But whatever the case, get some basic defences in. Here we go. Let's think about defence. Um, so what do we want to get? Fortifications, wooden ones. Uh, and that's kind of it, is it? Is that all we can have? We can have a gate. We can have fence gates. We can have fences. Uh, but yeah, that stops animals from eating all of our stuff. But if we have a big old kind of um, a big wall around it, that's definitely going to do the job. So I think, yeah, if we get 
wooden fortifications for now. Uh, we are going to possibly need to get some more wood. And then we can just put some gates along it, you know, just so people can get in and out and stuff. That's going to be fine. So if we go a little bit around the edge so they can walk. So if we have it sort of three around the edge. Uh, hang on, hang on. How big is a tower? Because we might want to put some towers around the edge. They are... Uh, oh, one, one square. Oh, okay. That, that's surprisingly small. I thought they'd be bigger than that. Okie doke. One square it is. So if we leave three there, and then that's level with that. So hang on. So one, two, three, wall. And then one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, wall. And then out like that. So that's be one, two, three, wall. So if we put it like this, and then also go one, two, three, wall. So I have three around the edge. So just build a bit like that. 450... 450 things. Good grief. Now, some people did say build a low wall or something, but I don't know if we have the choice to build a low wall or not. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then we might want a gate along this side. Just, oh, do we need a gate over here? If we put a gate on that side and a gate on that side, then we can just use those gates. Do you know what? That will do. We are, however, going to need to chop down some trees. I think let's go over here. Look, we'll get rid of of all that I have. There's a tropical tree. Cut that down. Sorry, tropical tree. Uh, 13 palm trees. Dandelion tree. The mushrooms will harvest. And the insect will leave alone for now. We do need to go and observe some animals. Because lots of people, again, in the comments keep saying, why aren't you observing the animals? Uh, just because I forget. So, uh, hang on. Let's assign that bed. That can be for Yoko. I think all the other beds should be assigned. So, Ember. Yeah, so Vanessa, Ember, Yoko. Talas, Annette, and Nova. Okay, everybody's got their own bedroom. And it's a proper bedroom as well. They're proper bedrooms. Now, another thing we need to do, we're supposed to sort these out as well. So I think what we're going to do is, that's going to be it for bedrooms for now. If we do get some more survivors, that's going to be a bit of a nuisance. I don't quite know where we're going to put their rooms. We could, in theory, because we have got a little bit out the back here, we could put another room out the back here, I suppose. Just going to shuffle these things around a bit. So we could do one, two, three, four, five. It would make access around here a little bit rubbish, actually. Hang on. Hang on. If we were going to do that... Oh, not that. No, come out of that. Uh, just put the foundation down for example. So one, two, three, four, five. There would be a one square thing around the back, but... Ah, bother. But then we'd want the stairs. So if we did have to build some more rooms along this end... That will be blocked off. Okay, what we do is then, what we do is, just in case that happens, just in case we need some more bedrooms for more survivors, because I don't know how many we're going to get. Are we going to get, is that it? Six? We're going to get 12? 30? I really don't know. I have no idea. So, I think we put another row of those there, boop, and then we get rid of the ones at the back. So, cancel that. No, don't cancel the individual ones. Cancel all of them. Right, there we go. Like that. Cancel. Yeah, there we go. We'll do it like that. I thought it was going to cancel the entire wall. No, cancel that. And cancel that. So, if we do need to build some more bedrooms, we could put them on the end here. And then, um, and then yeah, there's room to kind of walk around the edge over here. Wonderful. And another thing people said was that that door is bad at insulation. A metal door is good for security because you're know, metal, hard and tough, but not so good for keeping the sort of the uh, cold in, if you like. So what we could do is, and again, thank you commenting people. This is going a little bit the way of the game that's a bit like this one that begins with R that we're not allowed to talk about. Um, in the, I'm sort of, I'm bumbling along, I'm muddling through, having a jolly old time with things. But lots of people in the comments keep pointing out really good things, either things that I didn't know or tips and advice. Or things that I could do better. And there is something that we could do better. So there are vents. There are vents in this game. I don't know where they are, but there are vents. And what we could do is, rather than each room having to have its own air conditioner, we could put the air conditioners in the corridor, put vents going into the rooms from the corridor, and they will all get cold. So rather than having six individual air conditioners, which will take up a lot of power, we could have two, and then vents, allowing the air to pass into the rooms to keep everything cold. But of course, we are going to need an end on here, and a roof as well. So we are going to need to get that done. So I think, 
Is it worth working on that now as well? Um, no, right, for now, let time tick on. Wardrobes are being done. This is good. And I think as well, what we'll do is go over to all of our storage things here. So go to all of that. So, um, storage. So, stockpile. Uh, oh, we can't... Oh, botherations. Okay, I thought we could kind of click and say, right, don't store things here. Um, don't store clothing. And on that thing, don't store clothing. And on this one, don't store clothing. And on that one, don't store clothes. And on this one, don't store any clothes. Guess what about these two as well? No clothes and no clothes. Because we want the clothes to go into the wardrobes. Because that's what they're for. So I can go into the wardrobes. That's wonderful. And now we're chopping down trees. We're moving the wood. And we are going to build our very first bit of defence. Yay for a big wall. Although we are going to look pretty silly if the enemy come from that way next time. But you know what? Never mind. Never mind. We'll see what happens. And yet we're gathering stuff from that as well. Two out of six of the way through scavenging that. That's good for metal and everything else. Okie doke. Right, things looking pretty good. Let's let them go. Oh no, now two people have got a cold. Annette's got a cold. The two chefs, the two people who are cooking the food for everybody else, have got colds. Enjoy the germs in your food, everybody. It's going to be wonderful. Okay, day 40 is well underway. And look at that. We have a little bit of wall. We finally got some defences. I mean, right now, it's not overly useful, is it? Because we could be outwitted by the enemy if they come from, say, that direction. Or that one. Or that one. Or any direction around this part of the world, really. So, at the moment, it's not that much use at all. But, you know, baby steps. We've got to start somewhere. That's where we started. And eventually, we are going to have a wall all the way around. But, you know, that's what I've got first, and it's looking okay. If we get down to this end bit, I think there's enough wood over here to do one bit there. Are we chopping down any more trees? I don't think we are. Hang on, hang on. Go and chop down some more things, please. Uh, yeah, palm trees, cut them down. We need more wood. I think we need significantly more wood. So actually chop all those down as well. Bring more wood back, please, because we're going to need wood for the sort of roof and walls over here as well. I think... Are we moving? We're moving clothing around. We're moving clothing around. Look, we're shifting hats around and various other bits and bobs. We're making spears, which is really good. Yoko's gone to cut down some trees. Right, Annette, let's have a little look, shall we? So equipment wise, can we give you a thing? We've only got one spear. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Who could do with that then? Ember, you might get into some fights. So you have that. You haven't got a hat, Ember. Have a hat. How do we tell them to replace their sort of gear that's fallen apart? Or do we just have to kind of keep our eye on things like that? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, look at that. You're not wearing any decent kind of things. Your jacket's fallen apart. Oh, dear me. Right, okay. Best keep an eye on that then. I imagine we'll get told about it over here, but okie doke. Uh, right, yeah, if we could get that wall done, that would be fantastic. Because that's stage one of having some vague defences underway. We're making some tea. That's possibly more important than the wall, but there we go. We scavenged 17... Ooh, what's that? 17... 17 first aid kits. Oh, that's useful. Oh, I like that. That's a good thing. Yay for the, the first aid kit scavenging. Good job. How are we doing over here? Is that now done? Ah, so the first stage is done. Now we shall do the second stage. Get more out of that. Clear that out of the way. And then we might go for that bit. We might go for that bit just there as well afterwards. Uh, yeah, we're still struggling to get the... Um, to get the wall completed. But never mind. Never mind. That's all fine. We've got plenty of time. Uh, they're all eating... You're all eating kind of... What are you eating? Pickled... You're eating raw things. Hang on, have we not got any food? You're eating raw things. We've got six buttermelon pies. We've got six actual bits of cooked food. And you're all snacking on dandelion seeds. You strange people. Okay, okay, that's fine. You crack on. You do what you got to do. Bit weird, but okay. Nova's chopping some wood to make some sticks. This is all good. And our buttermelon pies are going to rot away. And Nova is appreciating a dog statue. Okay, right, it's all gone a bit strange, but okay. Uh, yeah, why are we not? No, but would you like to eat a pie? Oh, they're all going to go off, look. Is that all of the pies? Um, oh dear. Throw them away. Get rid of the pies, because they're going to go mouldy. We do need to sort that out as well. There's a lot we need to do. We need defences. We need another kind of, kind of great big bit over here, where we can have a kitchen and some refrigerators to keep our food a little bit, so, you know, lasting a little bit longer. That'd be good. And then a crafting room and everything else. But I think let them get that bit of wall done first. That's going to be more important. Get that done. 
and we'll see what we can do with that insufficient materials 49 we are chopping down many trees do not worry we shall get our wall done soon hang on a minute hang on vanessa's got poisoning yoko yoko do you have anything to do with this are you slightly more sinister than possibly you might be making out to be because she's been poisoned and you have a background in poisoning people poisoning them to death in fact uh, I would like to think it wasn't her. I assume she's just eating some dodgy food or whatever. Because yeah, there is dodgy food around. I don't quite know why we're not cooking more stuff. Why are we not cooking more things? Like the tea where I would be a grain porridge. We've got the grain, I think. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, we've got grain, but we, are we using it to make the pies? Okay. So hopefully it's not Yoko. But yeah, I think, I think Vanessa's going to be okay. Moderate poisoning is, yeah, plus 15 pain, minus 5 consciousness. She needs antibiotics. Okay, is someone going to go and treat her? Is somebody doing that? Oh, Ember's going to go and do it. Yay. And Nova's got pneumonia. Oh, dear. Right, so people have got pneumonia and colds and you've got, I don't know, you've been poisoned. Good grief. Okay, right, this is, oh, now Annette, Sale, what have you got? You've got poison. Hmm. Yoko, I'm very suspicious. I'm very, very suspicious right now. We've never had a single case of poisoning. You turn up, you rock up and say hello with your background in poisoning people, and now people are getting poisoned. It's a little bit suspicious, but okay, people are being treated. This is good. Right, I think Annette's okay. Has she had... Oh, it's gone. It's gone. The poisoning has been sorted out, I think. Uh, yeah, you've got the swarm fever immunity thing. Your, oh yeah, your pneumonia's been suppressed. That's good. You've got a cold. You've got a cold. You've got a cold. I know how. In fact, has everybody got a cold? I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. There is a wave of illness going on, which is a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. There we go. So people are becoming ill. Yoko's awaiting treatment. Annette's awaiting a treatment. Vanessa, given that it's your job to go and heal people, and it's number one on your list of things, and apparently they do stuff from left to right. So healing is their top priority thing. So, Vanessa, you should be healing them. I think you are. Right, healing Annette, this is good. Go and sort that out. You're good at this kind of thing. You go and do that. And I know it's got swarm for... What is happening? <laughs> Everybody's ill. Everybody's ill. They can hear it with my voice. I've got, hang on a minute, he's ill. I'm going to be ill as well. Right, Annette's going to go and heal Nova. Okie doke. Nova is now... Ah, yeah, swarm fever suppressed. Good grief. Okay, that probably didn't help too much today in terms of productivity because people were just you know ill and coughing and spluttering and feeling generally bad for themselves a bit like i am so that is not great that's not great somebody's arguing with nova but we do have people playing some fun music yay there we go talis on the handpan nova's on the didgeridoo <laughs> this is brilliant it's like a happy little commune going on yay wonderful right there we go good job everybody good job play music play music people are happy about that this is good and they're ready to harvest so we can get some more stuff there this is good news there is no food i assume people have eaten food why is there no food why aren't they doing all this have we got any veg have we got any veg we've got oh dandelion spores we've got lots of we have quite a lot of the palm meat why are we not making the stuff hang on is it do i need to readjust these priorities a bit should tea be first i mean why that's not first anyway, i don't know do that and then do the veggie soup and then do the meat soup so yeah tea first veggie soup meat soup then pie then porridge then rations but i'm not so bothered about the rations because we can make our own food and it's all fine okay and i notice that our wall is done our first bit of defense is done hooray that's good news so now we're going to try and rejig this a little bit so we can have air conditioned rooms with the two air conditioners but kind of pouring into this corridor bit and then we can have vents the only thing is i don't know where the vents are i'm not entirely sure but people have assured me in the comments that there are vents. there we go air vent okay wonderful so alloys okay this should be fairly simple so if we put uh, yeah one there one there and one there and then rotate it round to have one there one there and one there that means the air can vent from the corridor into their rooms. They still should have relative amounts of privacy because you know, it's an air vent. It's fine. That should be okay. Spacious bedroom plus 18. That's really good. Creature comforts plus five because the carpets. This is brilliant. Okay, this is really good. I'm very happy with this. Everybody's got a weapon. We do need to equip Yoko's 
Already woken up at one o'clock in the morning and she's going to go and do some crafting. Are you not tired, Yoko? Are you not worn out? Rest 97%. I suppose, yeah, you did join quite late in the day when you sort of arrived and you were, yeah, sort of well rested then. So I guess you're kind of out of, out of sync. You've got like kind of your know, survivor arrival jet lag kind of thing. But you are making some spears, which is good. Vanessa's got pneumonia. Oh dear. Uh, Yoko is now going to make another spear, which is wonderful. But then you cleared off and you're doing something else. Everybody's happy because of spacious bedrooms. This is good. Take a quick look, actually. So yeah, selecting a spacious bedroom. Plus 18. That's really good, though. That's really good. It's like an immediate sort of boost thing there. Old equipment. Yeah, things are going to fall apart. We know that game. And here we go. We're going to get some stuff here, which means we get some, uh, what are they, our buttermelons, which means hopefully we're eating raw buttermelons at the minute. Can you not? Why are we not cooking food? Cook the food. Why are we not cooking stuff? We should be making veggie soup. A waiting worker. Well, hang on. Activities. Uh, cooking. One. Annette. You should be priority one cooking stuff. Why are you not, Annette? Oh, you are now. Okay, good. Right, make us some soup, please. This is going to be good. Everybody's ill. Uh, we've got some rations. That's okay. We've actually got some food. Hurrah. Oh, crikey. Is Nova's ill. Yoko's got pneumonia. <laughs> okay. Right. There, there are many ill people. Lots of people are a bit poorly. It's a bit of a nuisance. Okie doke. Never mind. Right. So, I think. Pause time for a second. Let's look at maybe either... Sorting out this corridor, but yeah, let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. So build that, put a roof on it, get the air conditioning stuff moved. Let's get that done right now. Uh, so we need to dismantle that door because people did tell me that, yeah, the metal doors are not as good. Uh, although I, it doesn't seem to have any bearing on that in the game by the look of it. Uh, yeah, oh, good heat insulation. That's got bad heat insulation. Okay. Right, okay, no, I see it there. Yep, that's absolutely fine. So, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. So dismantle that, deconstruct that, please. And then we will get ourselves a wall. So a wooden plank wall going across the end like that, but rotate it round. So pop that in, and then we'll have another door, wooden plank door in the middle, oh, with a little set of stairs that comes with it. We don't need that for yeah, later, but that's okay for now. That'll do. So get that done, and then we want a roof. So what does it look like right now? It's going to look a bit weird, but do you know what? It doesn't matter. We don't need to look at the roofs at all. So there we go. I think then, get a roof. So we'll have, oh, awful thermal insulation, medium thermal. Scrap, wood is medium, stone is, okay. Let's go for planks, because that seems to make sense. Because, yeah, it's got medium thermal insulation. Let's have that. And we'll just put the roof on like that. Okay, not brilliant, but Joe, it will do the job. Right, so a bit of a building project going on. 72 bits of wood required, but we are chopping down some trees over here. If we could just grab a handful more, that would be wonderful. There we go. Right, so yeah, at the moment, we're being held back by a lack of wood. Wood is the current issue. Right, they're taking that door apart. Hang on, hang on. Have they put... They need to, yeah, they need to get that bit sorted or they won't be able to actually get into their place. Uh, hang on, let's get the other uh, door in. So door, wooden plank door, pop it just there. Wonderful. Speed time on. So should be able to get through there now. And then we want to pick these up, move the air conditioners, uh, obstructs access to another device. The stairs, uh... We can cope with it blowing hot air onto the stairs. Oh, because they can't walk. Oh, that's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Uh, okay, they're going to have to come here. Obstructed access to another device. Uh, okay. I Okay, maybe we have to wait and work on that a little bit. That's not going entirely according to it. Never mind. At least we can get that bit with a roof on it. That'll be nice. It needs a roof anyway. So uh, there we go. Right, another little project for you. Do some building stuff. And Talas has gone up to construction too. 
good stuff tell us and we have got some stairs though, so we can actually get into our room again which is wonderful and Talas is grabbing wood to go and make a door. Good job, folks. Oh, botherations, we're going to get attacked again. That's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? We were being quite productive. We were making food and clothes and spears and we were building walls and ceilings and things, but no, now we're being attacked. So we are being attacked by 10 regular scarabay, that's okay, and eight explosive ones. That might be a little bit of a bother. Okay, over here we go. Are they coming from that direction? Because if they are, our wall is going to be a useful, useful thing. They're going to have to walk around the wall. They might be able to get round the defences. There is a little bit of a gap in the defences, kind of between here and all the way around here, I would say. So where are they coming from? Are they coming from over there somewhere? Let's go and see. No. No, they are not. They're kind of... Where are they? Sort of in... They're kind of over here. So they're on that side, which is kind of where they normally come from anyway. I mean, really, should we have built that bit first? Never mind, never mind. So how are we going to do this? I mean, hopefully Nova could pick a few off with her fancy kind of space snipey weapon thing. That'd be quite good. And then we have got more people able to sort of fire at range. So if we do try and sort of stay away from them, fire at them from range, and then just keep moving away, so don't let them get near us and just keep shooting them from far away. That might be our best kind of course of action. So I think for now, let's let everybody carry on doing what they're doing because just because they're going to attack soon doesn't mean they're attacking right now. So we'll let everybody get on with it. And then when it says, yes, we're going to go and do some fighting, the animals are on their way, we'll then draft everybody and get everybody ready. Hang on, what's going on with you? Annette, why are you poorly? Health conditions, none in perfect physical shape. Apart from you're not at full health. Lies, game, lies. Uh, what's happening there? Why are you... Why are you not... You must have taken damage from something. Maybe you were ill for a little bit too long. Oh, it's ticking up now, look. There we go. Hang on, you are healing. Let's get that up. Hang on, move time on a bit quicker. Come on. Up to 200. And there we go. Okay, right, you're absolutely fine. Nova now has an illness. So Nova's got swarm fever. Uh, and that's been suppressed. Uh, oh no, hang on, you need your next round of antibiotics. Have we got enough of those? We haven't got any. Okay, are we brewing some? Are they being made over here? We'd better be making antibiotics and not like you know, pickled vegetables or whatever. We are making pickled vegetables instead of the antibiotics. Okay, that is a little bit of a problem. Let's change that round, shall we? That might be a little bit of an issue. Some of our definitely not meat bananas are going to rot away. 42 of them. Do you know what? We'll get rid of them right now. Just throw them away, please. Somebody go and chuck them in the bin. That would be good. Um, and yeah, Nova's gone to bed. So Nova is awaiting treatment. I don't know if we can go and treat Nova. Are you going to go and treat Nova? Is that where you're going? You shared a childhood memory with Annette. You are heading into here. So I assume you're healing Nova. Okay, we could do with Nova back on her feet for when the attack happens. Because, of course, she does have the big fancy futuristic space snipey thingamajig. Right, okay. Please work and do it quickly before we get attacked by the by the bugs. And boop, there we go. Swarm fever immunity, wonderful stuff. I think then, clear that out of the way. Uh, let's just run time on until we get attacked. Although, this is a bit of a bother because they're attacking at night time. And we're not as good when we attack at night time, when they attack at night time, because it's dark. We can't see. Now, for us, okay, we can see because the game lets us see things, but... In terms of actual how the game is playing out for our survivors, it's quite dark out there. It's quite dark. We've got sort of starlight and that thing lighting things up. But other than that, a little bit dark around here. Okay, all of you draft. All of you come over here and we'll see what we can do. So 18 of them are now on the way. Unfortunately, we've not been able to call upon our sort of uh, other wildlife friends to go and do any fighting for us. Sometimes the local wildlife does sort of, you know, fight for us and take a few of them out, but I don't think it's happened this time round. Right, here we go. So we've got you lot all lining up. Okay, are you the explodey ones, right, explosive? So Nova, can you take a shot at that, please? Can you attack that? Run time nice and so... Crikeys. Okay, that does need time to reload, apparently. Okay, so everyone just fire at what you've got. Miss because it's too dead. Right, that thing is very dead. Uh, however, they're all lining up their shots, look. So if we're able to just keep picking them off, don't let it get near. Oh, botherations. Okay. Okay. Right, we're being a bit swamped here. Fall back. Fall back. 
Come back this way. Somebody is a bit injured. Oh, right, okay. Falling back isn't working. Falling back isn't working. They're quicker than us. We should possibly get some defences in. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Okay, survivors. Um, get to over here and then do the fighting. Annette is... Annette is kind of stuck in the middle of the swarm. But are they picking on her necessarily? I don't know if they are. I don't know if they are. Um, okay, right. We didn't equip anybody with the spears, did we? Did anybody pick up any spears? Yeah, they've got their little knives out. Okay, right, this is not going to go well, everybody. I apologise to people who can play this game. This is going to go badly. Right, okay. So, things exploding. I don't think anybody is near death quite yet. Vanessa isn't well, but I think we are handling the animals. Right, there's a few left. An explodey one over... Okay, they are taking a bit of a hit. They're taking a bit of a hit. Vanessa, I think you come over here. You get out of there, Vanessa, because you're going to get hurt otherwise. Okay, there is one animal left. Oh, hang on. And it's just that. Okay, fire at the animal. Kill it, he kill. Right, they're all dead and everybody else is quite horribly injured. Okay, this isn't going to go well. Right, undraft. Most people are going to go and have a little lie down and await treatment. Okay, now Vanessa needs treatment right now. She's bleeding, not life-threatening, but she is losing health, which is never a good thing. Okay, so who is going to go and help? So everybody is awaiting treatment. Okay, this, this can't happen. This is an impractical thing. Uh, who is best at healing, apart from Vanessa, because Vanessa is not very well herself. Uh, you've got two, you've got three. Uh, yeah, Nova's got five. So I'm thinking we get Nova on it. So Nova, you're not going to wait for treatment. You are going to go and heal everybody else. Right, Nova's going to go and do the healing. We will go over here and say Butcher. Oh, hang on. Explosive Scarabay also Butcher. That's... Are we missing one? Yes, we're missing a few, actually. So yeah, Butcher those. This is good. That's going to be good later on. Did we pick up... Oh, hang on. Did we pick up the other things as well? So yeah, Butcher that. Okay, Talas reach healing three. Oh, that's good. Right, so now people who don't need healing are you know, joining in the sort of healing effort and they're helping everybody else. Uh, who is helping Vanessa? Vanessa is going to need some more help, please. Have we sorted out all this stuff? Superficial buys. A shooting star. A meteor with a long trail blazed in the sky and fell not too far from the camp. It could be a small piece of debris or a genuine meteorite. Okay, we could go into that. Joe, I tend to forget about those expedition things. I know we have got a massive great balloon in the middle of the camp there. But I tend to just see that as a lovely kind of exciting visual feature rather than actually useful thing. Um, so maybe, maybe we should go and look at that. Although, I'd like people to heal up first. I want everybody to back up full strength before we go and do that. So hang on a minute. You're building that wall. This is good. So wallity wall, doority door. Okay. How is the roof bit going? It's done. It's enclosed. Okay, this is good news. But now we need to figure out exactly how we can have the thing over here. How we can have the uh, the air conditioning stuff here. Because apparently that's not allowed. So I'm not quite sure how we do that. Right, tick time on a bit. Let's get Nova and Vanessa particularly healed up because she did take quite a bit of damage. She's had some tea though, so yeah, everything's going to be fine. She's had tea. We are harvesting a lot of stuff over here. We can have a lot more cloth for clothing and everything else. That's really good. Possibly some rations as well, maybe. That would be useful. So if we could do that, and then we're going to have to think about clearing all of that. So cut all of that and cut all of that. So get rid of that because we want to put a wall across that way. And then the wall across there is not going to be too sort of obstructed to about here-ish, possibly. But we are going to want to leave a gap over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, I don't know if that's the best place to have our kind of thing. I think we have our trap corridor thing over here somewhere. I think that's what we do. Uh, heat wave. Outside temperatures are eight degrees higher than usual during this disaster. Crops grow more slowly and start losing health if the temperature becomes intolerable. Okay. How are we doing with this? How can we tell? Temperature 90%. Is that good? Is temperature 90% good? I'm not sure. I don't know. But okay, so it's got very hot. As you'd expect in the dry season, it's got super, super hot. And we're all quite boiling hot and sweaty. However, the good news is we're now making a lot of food. And I did tweak the amount of food we're making. 
I did sort of just, you know, just that tiny bit, just so we're now making six bits of everything. So six veggie soups, six meat soups, six pies. We're making 20 tea, I think, now just to make sure people can have lots of tea. So we are doing quite a lot of cooking. And it shows six veggie soup, six meat soup, and we have the eight emergency rations as well, which is a good thing. So, okay, no, that's looking good. In terms of actual raw food, I wonder, I wonder, hang on. Are we antibiotics? Yes, we are. I think possibly it might be worth production. It might be worth getting another fermentation barrel set up. In fact, you know what? Get two. Get two of those set up. So one can be for antibiotics and the other two can be for food. Maybe that's what we should do. So don't do pickled vegetables in that one until 100. That one can just be antibiotics and do it until we have 10 lots, please. Why not, eh? And then build those. They can be for pickled things. Wonderful. There we go. And um, yeah, I think everybody is sort of looking okay right now. Uh, there is a bird eating that. Did we not get that one? Uh, possibly not. But you know what? The bird can have that. It's okay. We're supporting the local environment. It's all or whatever it was. The little insecty thing can have it. You, whatever you are, the small flying lizard, they're welcome to it. Um, yeah, so how are we going to move those things around? I'm not entirely sure. And also, where do we put our kind of solar panels and things? I'm thinking maybe over here. There is a bit of a gap over here. So could we put some solar panels over here? Can we even build them? Can we build them? It's two electronics and 10 scrap metal. Um, but hang on, we've not got any science on the go. Did I not pick that? Did I not queue? I thought I'd queued up energy storage and improved solar cells, but clearly I did not. Um, I thought we looked at these. Um, so yeah, I think we need to get some batteries on the go. So we'll have some batteries. Why have we not done this already? Um, I think, yeah, that's batteries. Energy storage is batteries. And then improved solar cells is basically better solar panels. So I think we'll wait until that's done. If I hang on, do that first. And then while we're building the improved solar panels using that technology there, we can then research batteries, and by the time we've possibly built some solar panels, we can then store the power in the batteries. There we go. I thought we'd done this. Maybe I looked at it. Maybe I looked at it while you know, nothing was going on. I thought, yeah, that'd be a good thing to do. And then I got distracted by something. Possibly that's what's happened. Oh, hang on. An advanced research desk. Uh, ah, it requires power. Okay, for now that's okay. I think we're okay for now with that. What else do you want to get? Um, some people said that toolsmithing is quite good because we can make survival kits and that's how we get the stuff to put in the balloon. That question was answered in the comments. Thank you very much. Um, kimchi, we could do that. Six hours. That's quite a nice amount of, uh, nice amount of research time and we get some nice food out of it. We'll have a bit of that, I think. We won't do brewing. We're not going to do cereal coffee because we've got tea and that's just better. Uh, what else do we want? CPU assembly? possibly might be useful. Three days. Three days. Good grief. Okay. Sensor devices. That could be useful. Thermostat. Ah, that's what we want. So if the rooms get too, if that gets too cold, uh, too hot, sorry, we can switch the air conditioners on, but then they'll switch off when the room is at the optimum temperature to save our power. Yeah, we'll have sensor devices. That seems quite good. Yeah, thermostat, motion sensors, day-night sensors. Ah, and that's also good because if we do build some lights, which we might do eventually, we can have the lights come on at night time and not remain on in the day. So not going to hammer our our sort of uh, power supplies. And we've got one bit of research left. Yeah, do we go down toolsmithing? It's only six hours. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. I think that's what we'll do. Meat printing. Okay. Bit weird, but right you are. Okay, so get time moving on. Annette is making food. Wait, it's one in the morning. Why are you lot doing so? I suppose they have been in bed during the day recovering, haven't they? So I guess now they can just go and do some other stuff. So, I mean, yeah, we're cooking food. This is good news. I mean, really, as well. Are we, um, are we sorted for... I mean, yeah, we need some more defences, but we've got 378 wood. I think possibly we do need to get the other defences in. So I think, yeah, when they've got rid of all that and store that away, if we have enough room to store this kind of stuff, um, we might then possibly need to start expanding our defences, but also our base, because we need some more base so we can build more kind of indoor storages and the kitchen and what have you. So that would be quite good as well. But let's just let them go and do all this stuff over here for now. There's plenty of work for them to do. Also, 
How are we doing over here? Are you still making spears? I think you might be, but surely we are, we've reached... Uh, limit reached in stock three. Okay. Oh, hang on, because, yeah, some people already have some spears. Right, so, you lot, come and pick up some stabby spears, please, because they're better than your uh, rubbish weapons you've got now, which are little kind of tiny dagger things. So, yep, you can have a spear. You've got a spear. You can have a spear. Does everybody else have clothing? Suitable clothing as well. Um, you don't have a top anymore. Oh, Okay, hang on a minute, that might be slightly awkward. Nova's wandering around without any kind of pro. She's got a jacket on. Okay, uh, that's maintaining her decency. Uh, why are we not making t-shirts? Are we not making t-shirts? Straw hats we're trying to make. Uh, t-shirts, elevate that up the priority a little bit there, please. Um, yeah, we are asking them to do a lot of things. We are asking them to do many things. However, we will have pickled vegetables, and do it until we have, I don't know, a uh, hundred on that one. And use use either. We've got loads of those things now. We've got loads of the spores, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely loads. In fact, you know what? That one, or, oh, hang on, could we have different types of tea? Um, oh no, that's not the tea in there, is it? That's the vegetables. The tea is from the other things, isn't it? Um, let's have that one made from uh, dandelion spores. Do that until... 50 and then that one just there that can be I don't until I that can be buttermelon so uh yeah there we go do that wonderful splendid there we go um yeah I thought that was where we made the tea because the tea is made from we can make the tea out of the spores or the sort of zingy mushroom things but um I don't think we're using that are we we've got the dandelion spore uh things to make the tea we're not making the tea out of the sort of mushroom things. But that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Right. Run time on. Let's see how everyone's going to get on. So we've got food going on. Right. Insufficient storage space. I thought this might be the case. I did suspect this could possibly happen. So how are we going to deal with this? Because really, I don't want to build too much stuff under here. Because we're going to move this soon. If we can get all this done over here, we can move stuff out from under here. And then put it into a nice big kind of indoor covered storage thing in this part of the world. On proper shelves and things, which would be wonderful. And it's also going to make it last a bit longer. But right now, we can't do that. I wonder if it's worth... You know what? We're going to do this temporarily for now. Shelter. Scrap metal shelter. Just, you know, to attract the lightning. It's going to be fine. Pop that there. And then storage stockpile it's going to be stockpile storage like that and can we copy that setup can we copy that so copy restrictions and paste restrictions there we go okay so somebody work on that that storage is going to be covered up that's going to be fine about to rot away our food's rotting away we need refrigerators we need a bigger base we need more defenses we need more of everything. Do you know what? It's going to be good when that's gone. Because that will free up Talas to go and do some other stuff. Because at the moment, he is kind of very busily sort of running around doing that. He has brought back two more CPU cores, which is very good. That's really useful. Um, pulse rifle, not enough power. Oh, hang on. Are these still on? Have we switched them on? No. Okay, hang on. Why? That did have enough power once... Oh, hang on. Because that switched off, isn't it? That's why that's not working. Um, do we want to begin working on electronics and then pulse rifles? Possibly we do. How much fuel do we have? Uh, 100 liquid fuel. I think we leave that. I think we leave that until, until we've got solar panels and things set up. We're 48% of the way through getting the improved stuff. Um, if we run time on nice and quick, we can get that done. They'll fly through that in no time. Look, there's some very clever people over here working on the research. So Vanessa's a complete genius. So hey, look at that. It's flying up. Vanessa's going to have a meltdown. Okay, ignore what I just said. Vanessa's not that clever. She's going to go be a bit sort of a bit grumpy in a minute. Have a bit of a meltdown. Vanessa, you're doing a grand job. Why are you going to have a meltdown? Um, you're hungry. I mean, you could eat some food. That would sort that out. You could eat some buttermelon pie. There you go. I'm telling you to go and eat food. Because for some reason you're not able to work this out yourself. 
even though I was just saying you're incredibly clever. But there we go. You've eaten some food. Back you go to here. And yes, your happiness is slowly ticking up. In fact, it's going to be fine. Very soon it's going to be fine. And that's done. That thing is now fully scavenged. That's good because that means Talas can now do some more stuff around here. Wonderful. Okay, right. Okay, I think, yeah, let's get time ticking on. I, before we wrap things up, I'd like to get that research done. I would like to get that done just so when we come back next time, we can start making improved solar panels. We can make a couple of them, I think, maybe. So I think that's what we do. I think we try and get that done next time. That would be quite a good plan. So uh, yeah, for now, let's just tick time on a bit until we have that done. Is it anybody researching? No, because it's downtime. Okay. Okay. A spaceship pod just fell down somewhere nearby. I'm not entirely sure where it was that it. I think it might have been there. Has that always been there? I'm not. In, I think, yeah, they're running away. They're running away from it. So I think maybe it's over there. Uh, yeah, it seems to be. Yeah, there's stuff coming out of it. Look, there's stuff coming out of it. OK, right. Vanessa's already at risk of meltdown. What's wrong with you? Right, OK, Vanessa needs to have a lovely night's sleep in her fancy room just to try to cheer her up a little bit. OK, people are up and about. Things are looking good in terms of research. And is it done? Boom. OK, improve solar cells is now done that's really good so now we're working on batteries okay which is another good thing however what do we now need to make an improved solar panel so the originals were two electronics 10 scrap metal and it produced 20 power which is okay that's a good thing however the improved ones are two electronics and 10 alloys exactly the same materials but they produce 40 power oh they're just doubly as effective that's really good and then wind turbines, they make 40 as well. Okay, I mean, this planet is very good for this because normally it is hot. It is hot all the time. So solar panels are going to be what we want to have. So I think what we'll do is we'll finish up for now. And then when we come back next time, we will sort out our kind of energy estate over here. We'll build some lovely solar panels over here. Maybe try and get, uh, hang on a minute. What did we need? Two electronics. I think we've got, seven so we could in theory build a couple of those and have some electronics left over but we could also make some more electronics using the soldering bench that we can power from the solar panels that we're going to make with the electronics we have right now oh it's going to be brilliant it's going to be a perfect thing it's all going to tie together amazingly well get some solar panels over here charge that up make some more electronics make some pulse rifles it's going to be wonderful and again if we do that that reduces our reliance on the fuel for that thing because our fuel is running out that does burn through the fuel quite a lot and then also as well if we do that it means that while we're building all this we can get batteries and then we can store power which is going to be even better as well we can have a little kind of backup supply of power in case things do go a little bit wrong so i think next time that's what we do it's going to be about the power and then maybe as well we try to build a couple of extra bits of our sort of you know, defensive wall I think there is a tiny gap in the wall, so possibly we could do with improving that as well. But plenty to do, absolutely loads to do when we come back next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Stranded Alien Dawn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. I'll throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's what this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water please this is this is this is the best box this is my favorite box of the game so far oh no 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 no! it, it is hurting me it's hurting me a lot very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations what who's examining who <laughs>